Clash in Session. Clash in Session. This one is a good one. Two teenage body manipulation action fighters with shape shifting transformation abilities. Sun Eater versus Kevin Eleven. Who will win this bout? In order to find out the winner, I will use nine criteria. Intelligence, strength, speed, comeback, durability, invulnerability, energy projection, versatility, and TOT. You know, that one thing. That one thing that could change the match. Brief summary. Tamaki Amajiki, also known by his hero name Sun Eater, who is a third year student at UA High School and is part of the Big Three. Tamaki is a very shy person. He gets anxious when speaking to a large audience and will face away and lean into the wall if he's unable to keep it going. He seems to be rather socially awkward as well as lack much confidence in his own ability as he had low self-esteem. It is said that while his physical abilities are above a professional hero's level and that his court is extremely powerful, his mentality holds him back. He seems to also be rather sensitive even to the point of becoming upset when a thug he is fighting insults him. However, he is not without his more stern belief, which he will uphold and vocalize. He has also shown a great deal of friendship with Muriel himself, understanding his struggle that he has gone through to make his court as efficient as it is. He admires Muriel for his persistence and remembers his courage whenever he himself is in a stressful or dangerous situation. Powers. As a member of UA Big 3, Tamaki is incredibly powerful. According to Tashihiro Tomimitsu, Tomiki's ability alone can outclass most pro heroes. Court Manifest. Using his body, he can manifest the characteristic of the things he eat. He can make multiple transformations at once. Tamaki can manifest the characteristic of anything he eats as long as he can consume it. However, this court appears to have its limits, as he has to eat the power he wants to use every day. The accuracy of his ability depends on how much he eats. An example of this would be his octopus fingers that appears more powerful the more he eats. He is also able to combine his manifestations. It is also appears that any damage or removal of his manifestation has no permanent damage on his actual body. Over the course of the two and a half years spent in the UA high school, he trained his court to his absolute limit. The training allows him for size variation, concurrent manifestation, and feature selection. Additionally, he's able to use his court with objects that are not typically food items, such as crystals. This training paid off in making his court and himself incredibly powerful. Kevin Levin is a mutant who can absorb energy. He first met Ben 10 in a video game room until a group of bullies came and wanted to beat up Kevin. Ben scared them away using Accelerate. Kevin soon found out about Ben and the army trait and decided to make friends with him. Kevin, in fact, wanted to use Ben to commit crimes. Ben later discovered that Kevin is a sociopath and tries to stop Kevin as forearms. Kevin fights back and absorbs all the electricity in the area. Kevin jumps into four arms and tries to suck all of the energy out of the army trick. Kevin then transforms into a half-human and heat blast creature. Ben still managed to defeat him. Kevin soon gains absolute control over his new powers. He was able to transform into stink fly, upgrade, gray matter, four arms, root jaw, wild mud, heat blast, ghost free, accelerate, and diamond head. However, there's a downside. He cannot stay in his human form for a long period of time. Kevin blamed Ben for turning him into an abomination and sought revenge. He tracked down Ben and defeats Ben with ease in the beginning. In Ben 10 Alien Force, Kevin apparently has broken out of the null void and invested himself in some shady dealings involving level 5 alien tech, which could very well put the earth in danger. It is when Magister saved his life that Kevin decides to help the heroes. That and the now 15 year old Gwen Tennyson might have swayed him. To the good side. The older Kevin's power have also advanced. He now can absorb any material and use it as body armor. He has to be around enough of the substance in order to absorb it. Otherwise, he's just going to have only a small portion of his body change. He still likes to pick on Ben and gives him a hard time. Kevin and Gwen show signs of a relationship. 
As Gwen asked Kevin to a dance, Kevin was even asking Ben for dating advice. Powers, skill fighter, absorption of energy, DNA, mana, life force, magic, matter, powers, and abilities. Energy projection, body control, and shapeshift. If you're still here watching this battle, make sure you return to see this epic fight go down. Just subscribe so you don't miss it when it drops. Alright, see you there. Clash in session. Ring that bell because class is in session. Intelligence. While Sun Eater does have high intellect, believe it or not, I'm giving this round to Kevin. <laughs> As his intellect is at least genius. Although he lacks knowledge in certain areas, he displays vast knowledge of alien and earth technology. He also modifies both of his cars himself and built Ben's his own car. Kevin takes this round. Strength. While I would place Sun Eater physical strength at least city block plus level, I believe Kevin takes this round as well due to absorbing the DNA of forearms and being physically compared to him, which puts him at what, city level or maybe higher, seeing that he can generate earthquakes. Kevin takes this round. Speed. We don't have any definite speed feats on Sun Eater when it comes to this round, but we do with Kevin. Kevin is shown to have faster than light combat speed as he kept up with Vilgax and forearms and should be compared to Accelerate. FTL combat reaction speed, yeah, he was able to keep up with Vilgax and hybrid commanders. Dodge, Pianders, Blast of Radiation, faster than light combat speed and reaction as he kept up with Ultimate Homogosaurus and Ultimate Echo Echo. Definitely, Kevin takes this round. Combat. This is hand-to-hand, -hand, people. All right, so I'm giving this round to one of the top three students of UA, which is the number one rank high school for heroics and is considered as the top hero academy in Japan, where they train heroes not just using their powers but in combat. Tamaki demonstrates incredible technical judgment during fights. Yes, yeah, Sun Eater is on the board. Durability. How much they can muscle through pain. I'm giving this round to Kevin. Even though Sun Eater was able to defeat the three perspects of death after being heavily injured by them, Kevin easily took attacks from Vilgas to his country level plus. I don't see Sun Eater surviving anything that's putting out that much damage. Kevin takes this round. Invulnerability, how much damage they can take. This round, I'm leaning towards a stalemate. Though they both have several means to become invulnerability, I don't see anything beating their crystal form. Kevin has diamond head and Saint Eater has consumed crystals to perform some type of protection. So in my book, I'm saying this is a stalemate. Energy projection. I'm giving this round to Kevin. It's understood that after absorbing energy, Kevin can channel energy through his hands and manipulate technology, discharge it as energy blasts or physically enhance his body to speed up cellular regeneration, increase his strength or recover from injuries at an accelerated rate. I'm going to say Kevin takes this round. Versatility. This round was the closest one yet for me because looking at these two, they almost look like they can do the same exact things from changing certain parts of their bodies into whatever they like from creatures to inorganics. But what I'm looking for is who has the strongest option in their arsenal almost at any time that can wipe out the other fighter. And for this, I'm going with Sun Eater. Sun Eater has the octopus poison, which can generate the natural occurring poison in the octopuses to paralyze his opponent. Being able to adjust the autocity to avoid killing them. Sun Eater slightly takes this round. T.O.T. That one thing. That one thing that could change the whole battle. I feel like Kevin could take this round with his DNA absorption. As there is no limit to the amount of DNA he can absorb. He can still powers pretty easily at that. And I believe that this will be the undoing for Sun Eater. As he doesn't have this type of ability in his pocket. So Kevin Levin takes this round. There you have it. The winner, Kevin Eleven. Did you have Kevin Eleven winning? 
if you think Sun Eater should have won? Comment below and let me know. And thank you so much for checking out this epic battle and I hope to see you soon in Clash is in session. Clash in session.